Hey everybody. Um, I had somebody ask me how to do the stickers that I showed on my um, so Sewing Studio Move video, um, how to do the stickers on my machine. So um, I wanna show you the stickers on this machine and then I'll go show you how to do it. It's really easy. Um, here they are. Let's see. There's her name, Charlotte, in the spider web and the quotes. I just love them. They're so much fun. And you can do um, um, flowers or whatever you want, really. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so this is the uh, vinyl sticker paper that I used. And you can get it on Amazon. Um, you print on um, inkjet printers. Uh, it comes in two parts a printer paper and a laminate. You definitely don't want to get these mixed up. I printed on the laminate the first time and that was a disaster. So I use um, Microsoft Word to do this and I just pulled in a graphic and um, then I can resize it as big as I want, smaller, larger, whatever. And the reason I use Word is because it's basically going to print the black lines and it's not going to print any background. So it's not going to print the white. So I copied the flower here and I made one of them bigger because I wanted to use as much of the sticker paper as I could. Because um, once you run it through your printer and cut it out, you've wasted the rest of it. So you might as well use it all by putting as many graphics on it um, as you can. So then here I, I printed it to my printer on a piece of the sticker paper, not the laminate. So I just click print. Okay, so here we have our printout. You have to let it dry a little bit. It does not come off after it dries. But to make sure that it doesn't rub off, you use the laminate paper. The laminate has uh, the grid on the back. The sticker paper does not. That's how you can tell them apart. So the laminate is also sticky, but you don't print on it. It doesn't have the same whatever qualities that hold the printing. I don't know. If you print on the laminate paper, you can wipe it right off. So, so you want to peel the laminate paper off the back like that and then you want to lay the laminate paper on top try to do it without making bubbles which is always fun If I wasn't doing this for the camera, I would have done it slowly, like peel back some of it, stick it down, peel back some more. But for the camera, I had to peel the whole backing off all at once. So anyway, you lay the laminate over and stick it down. And then you get a squeegee, a uh, credit card will do, whatever, something flat plastic. And you just squeegee out all the bubbles. All those air bubbles. I didn't really worry too much about the bubbles that were not in my printed area because I was going to cut those away anyway. There you go. So then you need a pair of scissors. And you want to cut your design out. Now, there's two ways to do this. If you have a real intricate design, like words, 
or something like that, you would want to just cut out around the whole thing. In this case, I can either cut the flower out or I can cut a circle. So there's the flower with the detailed cutting. And then there's a the flower where I just cut the circle. So if I was doing words, I would do it like the circle. And I can show you that on the machine in a little bit, how that looks. So I decided to put the flowers on the side of my cabinet right here. And they ha they look white because of the white background. But when you peel them off, they're clear. See, they're clear. And there is a bubble in there, which I'll squeegee out once I get it up there on the cabinet. Can't really see it anyway. Put it where you want it and stick it down. These stickers work great for, for cars, like bumper stickers or whatever, anywhere you want to put them. There's the one with the circle. Those are easier to put down because you just peel the whole circle. Well, maybe. <laughs> there we go. But you can see the difference in what they look like. The detail cutting is prettier, but if you have a super intricate design, like a, a quote or something like that, you really can't cut around the, the design. So that's how you do that. And then I'll show you the machine again. So you can see, see Charlotte, I cut around the outside. I did not cut around the letters themselves. Same with the, with the spider web and the quote. And that's how you do it.